that's uh, potentially going to win me about 600 bucks. a good one. Oh yeah these are the crappie <laughs> that we came to, to enter into the tournament. I think this is another pound and a half or I think. Yeah this is a good one top jig. He was just suspended. 18 feet of water. Not really where I thought they'd be. Water temps are in the upper 50s right now and uh, honestly for I've never, this is the first time I've ever fished in the, ten, the state of Tennessee. Look at that chunky guy. Oh, oh, jig is just gonna, yeah, pop right out. Let's weigh this guy real quick. I'm thinking this might be uh, one of those fish that, the fish that wins me some money in the tournament. It's a big crappie bash style tournament, so if you've ever fished in the uh, big bass bash on Lake of the Ozarks, pretty much the same concept. You, uh, you can weigh a big fish, Oh yeah, one, see, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's one pound, 10 ounces, one pound, 10 ounces. Yeah, that's uh, potentially gonna win me about 600 bucks. If I catch it early enough, run it back over, I can weigh a fish in every single hour, and then the big fish of the tournament wins some money as well. It's a big fish tournament. One pound, 10 ounces might win some money on one hour, so. Gonna put this guy back. See you, buddy. What What is crazy, these water temps are in the upper 50s. And typically, I, I don't know if it just happened over, over the last day or two where these water temps jumped, but typically when water temps in the spring are in the upper 50s, potentially touching 60, you'd think these fish would be pushing shallow. Um, but that fish was in 18 feet of water, suspended about 10 feet down. I caught a couple just like that, about that pound and a half mark, in about 17, 18 feet of water. Um, the other two were actually about five feet off the bottom. So, very strange. Uh, tournament is until next Saturday, so I got seven days here. And these fish, if the water temps keep warming up like it, it should, it's supposed to be about 70 degrees for the highs for the next like three or four days could potentially see some of these fish moving shallow, but it's good to know kind of the area that they're in. So I can go about finding them later in the tournament or later in the week when I've got to put some, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I drove 15 hours straight over the night and uh, wasn't planning on filming today, but to catch fish like these and not put them on camera, it's hard not to do that. So let's see if we can catch another one. Oh my goodness. These fish are super aggressive too. It's another nice one. I don't know if this guy's gonna win me the tournament though. This might be just a nice eater. They're suspended all over the place. Oh, I got another boat here. That's just a nice eater. Ooh, just a nice eater there. What do we got? He's about, he's just shy of 12, but I don't think, I think he's, uh, he's gonna be about a pound. These ones that have been about 12 inches have been weighing about a pound. A little, little more, a little less. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, 15, 15 ounces. So he's gonna go in the box. That's a solid eater. All right. Um, there's another boat here. I don't want to give away my spot. I'm gonna kind of idle. See if there's any more brush piles behind me here in this creek. See if there's another spot, or I might run to the other side of the lake because. What's nice right now is the sun sets at eight o'clock, so I still got like two and a half hours to fish. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day one officially. Uh, this was the first day I was planning on filming on the Watts Bar Lake in Tennessee here. All right, Ooh, gotta move the minnow bucket. Can't have that sitting there, but morning number one, we got a little bit of a late start. Uh, driving 15 hours yesterday definitely took it out of me, so I, I slept in a little bit. It's about 9.30. Sunset's at 8 o'clock, so we got a full 10, 11 hours on the water. Plenty of time to do some discovery. 
Um, I have a tournament on Saturday. It's a big crappie bash style tournament. You can weigh in a big fish every hour and uh, you can win some money that way. So the goal is to find some big fish, potentially two pounders. Uh, I know there's some in this lake and uh, yeah, try to win some gas money back. That's the goal. <laughs> Costs a lot to drive to, uh, from Wisconsin to Tennessee. So, so today's mission is to show you how I'm going to break down uh, the Watts Bar Lake. I did find some fish yesterday, which kind of clued me into basically what I'm looking for. Um, but we are going to explore uh, an area called Piney Creek. And the reason I'm mentioning it, because you can Google this, Piney Creek, uh, brush pile locations. They are online. The Tennessee Fish and Game puts them online. So I'm not like busting anybody's spot. If, they're, if it's on Google, everybody knows about it. So we're going to drive down there, put the boat in the water, drive down to Piney Creek, which is like a 40 minute run, 35, 40 minute run hopefully find some two-pounders. Let's get the boat in the water. Hold on, let's shut that off. All right, so I uh, I decided not to actually run down to Piney Creek just yet. I didn't realize, I thought it was only like a six mile run. It's like 15 to 20 mile run. Um, yeah, a little, little bit farther than I thought it was gonna be. But I ran into this other creek, which I wanna show you. So the one thing I, I've been noticing uh, as of yesterday, I'm catching these crappie in a fairly consistent depth range, which is strange because if you notice, the depth range that I'm catching them in is, to me is strange. There's your water temp. Now this time of year, first week of April, if I saw that water temp, I'm thinking most of these fish are gonna be less than 10 feet of water. It's not actually where I'm catching them. Uh, I've, I just caught, I caught like three or four, I believe it was in this one. Yeah, right there, there's my track, it was in this one. Uh, caught one over one pound there. That was about a pound and a quarter fish. Ooh, don't do that. But the vast majority of my fish, I'm catching them in 18 to 22 feet of water. So on your Navionics or if you got Humminbird, Lowrance, whatever, you can uh, pretty much all modern mapping systems have some sort of highlight contours. So what I've done here is I've told my map to highlight I think I told it to highlight 15 to 22 feet of water. So that's what it's doing. Um, and that's helping me break down kind of areas I want to look at. Um, I think I might want to try some of this sharper breaks. It seems like that the sharper breaks, if I can find any type of brush or trees or stumps or something on a little bit more of a sharper break, um, that's where those bigger ones are holding up. There's not a ton of them. When I do run into them, it's like there's three or four on a stump. And then I gotta, you know, you can catch one or two and then the other ones move off. Um, but it's not like standing timber. This is not like fishing in Texas, like Lake Fork. It was these big timber sections that you just kind of went through and there was one and two on a stump. But uh, that's basically what I've done. Okay, let me show you how to, how to do this with the, so if you go to your charts, charts. So to get this shaded contour, you're gonna go to menu, you're gonna go to layers, you're gonna go to water, if I can hit it. You're gonna go to depth shading. And I have two set up right now, but let's say I, I wanted to change this. I'm gonna change this to a little bit deeper. So right now this is showing between 15 to 22 feet. I can select the color that I want to show. I wanna show green. I'm gonna to go to, I'm gonna, this is gonna be 0018 and done. And this one I'm going to go a little bit deeper, 0028, just in case I want to look at stuff a little bit deeper. So what this is going to do, it's going to highlight that green range from 18 feet to 28 feet. Now the water levels are a little lower today uh, because of the time of year. So um, normally you can adjust the contours. I 
completely forgot how to do that on this system. There is a way to adjust Navionic contours um, to raise and lower your water levels. I just forgot how to do it, so I'm probably going to be uh, plugging in on the phone here and figuring that out. But yeah, that's basically all I'm doing. That's how I'm finding these areas. These fish are closer to the mouth of these creeks. Beater Creek's going in. So if you notice where I was, this is the kind of the mouth of it. This is far back into it. I went far back into it, but where I caught those fish were right here, right on the mouth where it says creek bed. That's where I caught them. That's what I'm going to be doing. And uh, eventually we'll make our way down to Piney Creek. But I'm going to try, I think I scanned some brush piles as I was coming into this. This is a one large creek going back in. There's small feeder creeks going off it. Right around the point there were some brush piles. So we're going to go over there so we can catch some more fish. Oh my goodness. It's not rolling. Whatever it is. Oh, it's a big fish. Yeah, it's a big, that's a big fish. I just saw it on the live scope. That's a big, big fish. This is going to be a fight, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think this one's going to be easy to get up onto the surface. Here it comes. It's coming to the surface now. No! I almost had you. I think it's a big old cat. Come on, get up here. These 12 foot ACCs can definitely take a beating, that's for sure. I think I caught two paddlefish on this, I'm thing on this exact rod down in Missouri. Not on purpose, it just, when they bump your jigs, it really feels like a crappie thumped them. Come on, dude. Shake the arms out for this one. Yep, it's a big old, big old fat cat. No, he's hooked twice. He got, he bit it. Looks like he bit it and then he, uh, that's an ugly, ugly catfish. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna try. No, get up here, dude. I'm gonna try to just unhook him without taking him out of the water. Jig one. Don't run on me. Jigs you. See you, buddy. Woo. Well, we caught a big fish. Just not the right species of big fish. All right, I'm gonna run to Piney Creek and uh, we'll see if we can catch more crappie. Well, we made it to Piney Creek. Caught that guy off camera. He's, uh, I think he's like 15 ounces, so about a pound. He's not gonna help me in a tournament, but as a solid eating fish. Ooh. Um, I just got into this first little section of the Piney Creek, and there's one thing I do wanna show you on the sonar. Um, I'm using the Garmin 93SV UHD model. And when you're just using side scan, it's tough to find some of these stumps that I'm seeing on the live scope. You really need to use either the down view or clear view or the 2D. So I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, so normally when I'm searching around, I just have this screen going. It's my map, side imaging. Um, but these stumps are pretty small. They're only like three or four feet tall. So what you need to do this is my secondary screen. Make sure you have down imaging and your 2D on. So we're gonna go, these stumps are about 18, 19 feet of water. 
We're going to go right over them. We can find them here. So there's one right there. It doesn't show up very well, but on your 2D, see, they show up pretty darn well. So those are those little stumps that we're looking for. All right, so this is your prime example. We're in about 22 feet, but these are those stumps. You can kind of see them right there on the side imaging, but you can really see them on the 2D. They're only about three, four feet tall. And uh, the few crappie I have seen, they're right on those things. So. Well, Piney Creek so far has not been, not been great. Um, let me show you some. So I screen, I'll show a screenshot of what the Tennessee, I can't remember what it's called, Fish and Game, Fish and Wildlife, whatever. They post it on Google. You can Google it. Shows you the waypoints for all these little brush piles. Well, on the Navionics, let me, here we go, zoom in. Navionics also has them. So see where it's these quotation marks? It says like 13 with a quotation mark. Those are brush pile locations. And there's one, there's a couple over here. Let's see, it says number number seven, number six, and they actually got little dotted circles there. The problem is um, all of these brush piles are too shallow. They're, I'm sure like mid-April, maybe late April when the crappie do push up shallow to go spawn. Because these brush piles are in maybe, right now with this water level, they're probably in seven to eight feet of water. So it doesn't help me one bit. You know, I'm, most of the stumps that I'm finding that have at least a couple fish on them are around 17 to 20 feet. I'm starting to narrow in that range, 17 to 20 feet. It's, uh, that's where these fish are located. So far, Piney Creek has been a bust, which sucks because I burned a good amount of gas to get down here. But um, I, I don't know, I'm either gonna try I have not tried the middle part of, I was fishing this, right where this creek channel, you can see my track pop up here real quick. Yeah, so that's where I was fishing. There's a stump line that goes right through there. I did catch two off that. I don't know, we're gonna figure something out. Cause I'd like to catch a limit of solid keepers to fillet up. I wanna do a catch and cook tonight and uh, potentially find a two pounder. I'm not gonna keep it but I want to know where at least one two pounder is. I got one spot where I think I can at least win one hour of the tournament, but I want a bunch more. So let's go find some. Gonna grab that dock shooter. Let's rock it. Crop monster jig. Actually, no, let's use what they've been biting. That'd be the smart thing to do. There are crappie about 30 feet in on that second pillar. I'll show you on the live scope here real quick. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? 35 feet in. Oh. It's third pillar in. It's kind of hard to see, but they're right there. They're right there. There we go. Oh, it's a black too. There we go. There's a quality eater. He ain't gonna... That is not gonna break any uh, records or make me any money, but he is gonna fry up real good. There's a nice school of black crappie in there. Double check, make sure he's 10. I'm pretty sure he is. I think he's about 11. Uh, oh, he's 10 and a quarter. It's a fat, that's a fat ten and a quarter fish right there. One, two, three, four. Look at them all. They're just stacked up right there. Right, right on that side of that second pillar. It's nice having this elevated dock. You can get you can get away with a lot of stuff that I wouldn't be able to get away with normally. Especially for somebody like me who doesn't dock shoot very much up north. It's a lot more casting and slip bobber fishing.
There he is. They want it on that fall. They don't want it reeling. They're gonna hit it on that drop. And they thump this thing hard too, holy smokes. Hopefully these are just a bunch of keeper size fish. And we can, oh no it's not. Gosh dang it. That's a short. Too bad. See you, bud. There he is. There's one. Oh, he's a short. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a short, I bet. Yep. Nine and a quarter. Went from a vertical jigging video to a dock shooting video. But again, I think this guy's that guy's gonna be short. There's a bunch of shorts in here, that's for sure. Yeah, he's not even nine. Alright, well, that was the big one on the day. He's coming home with me. Uh, this guy was one pound three ounces, I believe. Not gonna win me the tournament, but uh, we're getting close. Those two pound and a halfers from yesterday possibly could win some money in the tournament. Basically anything that comes really close to that two pound mark. There are two pounders in here. I'm gonna get this guy back in the live well real quick. There are two pounders in here that if you get anything close to that, you're probably gonna win some money. Um, but yeah, just kind of mix it up today. The most, most of the spots was using 12 foot ACC. 1000 size PC Fun Carbon X, and then these guys, ACC Jigs, and uh, Pete's Tackle Force Hammer Plastics. On that dock, I decided to mix it up a little bit. Did a little dock shooting Ooh. with this one. Actually, first time I ever dock shooted with this dock shot, dock shooting. I don't know how to do that, but this is a six and a half foot ACC with the PC Fun Ice X5. This is a 500 size ice fishing reel, which I think works really great for any type of dock shooting because it's got a really small spool. And uh, had it downsize to the one, there we go, 132nd ounce ACC crappie sticks jig. It's my first time really, really testing these out, these jigs out. And they, uh, they held up to that catfish, so I, they get an A plus for me. But yeah, tomorrow, um, tomorrow I'm gonna cover a little bit more water up river. Piney Creek kind of was a wash. You know, I'm sure there's fish in there. Nothing that I found really interests me, anything. I think these fish are gonna start shifting from their 18 to 22 feet to probably less than, I don't know, less than 15 by the end of the week. Water temps in here yesterday, they were about 56, today they're 61. We're getting close to that spawning season, so that's gonna be the game plan tomorrow. Go up river, see if we can find some fish and maybe move it a little bit shallower and find that two pounder. Anything close to that two pounds is gonna, it's gonna win some money. This is gonna wrap up day one on Watts Bar Lake. Appreciate you watching as always. If you got any comments or questions, you can post them in the comment section below or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. It's gonna be a fun week. We've got really good weather this week. I, I'm gonna bet we come really close to that two pounds by the end of the week, so potentially win some cash in the tournament. All right, we'll see ya.